Martin, this is an unbelievable atmosphere. I guess this is what playing in Europe is all about. Absolutely, Chief. You know, it's a fantastic, fantastic setting. And not as good as Celtic Park, let me hasten to add, but uh, great old nevertheless. I know just in the last uh, half hour or so they've taken the decision to open the roof, it's now open. There was a chance of playing with the roof closed, would that have made any difference? Well we played it, we trained on it last night with the roof closed and I suppose uh, at least it was it was nice to get uh, that sort of feeling about it. I think they're concerned that there might be some sort of thunderstorms here later on this evening. But uh, I'm actually quite pleased they're going to play with it as au natural, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> I know that this uh, pitch is some bad publicity, but it's absolutely magnificent. Well, I think over the course of the year that it will definitely get bad as, the, as, as it wears on, but we're getting at the perfect stage of the season just at, at the beginning. So, uh, no, it's in perfect condition and great for playing on. We've skirted around the issues long enough. Let's talk about the team news tonight. Well, I'm, I, I just bring Tommy Boyd back in for Oliver, just for a bit of experience more than anything else. Ollie started the season very well for us, but uh, just that little bit of experience in there. And uh, Jackie will start in midfield, that we can always, uh, knowing in terms of personnel, we can always revert to formations, the change that the boys know so well. So, uh, and, um, and the rest as, you know, uh, Chris Sutton and Henrik Larsson up front. That's hardly a shot, I would say, but the way they performed, but... You go into this game tonight, uh, and I know there's been a lot of hype, Martin. And first of all, you've got an awful lot of respect for Ajax, haven't you? Very much so. Chick. I mean, they're a, they're a top quality side, and um, I think that, you know their, their previous record, which eventually counts for absolutely nothing, is, is fantastic. The, the crowd, the crowd are full of expectation tonight, but so are ours, and we're going to give it absolutely everything that we possibly can over the two games to try and get through. You really do believe you can get a goal, don't you? I, I think we're capable of scoring a goal. I don't want to take. I didn't don't want to make that many changes obviously European football is, is totally different to your domestic game but at the end of it all if you start going if you start going completely defensively you start thinking very very negatively it you know it infiltrates uh, very very quickly through the lads are in positive frame of mind they're very very strong mentally and it's up to them and if we get a wee bit of luck in the evening who knows just to go back to that team news obviously Bobby Petta is fit that you no worry about him sorry well well, obviously there was a worry on Saturday when he came off the field of play, and at that time, you know, if you're thinking that um, it was either either uh, a, a great um, uh, a sort of a pull of some description or a severe cramp, I'm delighted that it was just cramp. But then he trained here last night, and he said no reaction this morning, which was the important thing, and he starts the game for us. Yeah, I, really, I, really, I know, I know you better than just the question. You wouldn't take a gamble. Well, it's just, well, I I have taken gambles before. Uh, in that aspect in the cup final but I think it's a different thing altogether you know he's he's uh, he's going to play for as long as he possibly can we've got able replacements on the bench if that's the case and I, I, I'm not expecting a five minute thing but you never know somebody else might get injured in five minutes all the best tonight man Thanks thank you very much, sir. thank you and welcome to these magical scenes from the Amsterdam arena it's not like the old days for Ajax for a club which won the European Cup three times in the 70s, three times in a row, and then again midway through the 90s. But uh, success has eluded them, not just on the European stage in the last few years, but even in domestic football as well. They haven't won the Dutch title for four seasons, and they're rebuilding with an incredibly young side. That's the Celtic side tonight, as the photographs are taken pre much and certainly a lot of experience about the Celtic selection and Ajax sign of the times that only two Dutch players in that selection and a couple of surprises too in terms of uh, who Coadrians has put out to start the match tonight the Arbeladze the Georgian international has been in dispute with the club and it was thought that the best he could hope for tonight was a place on the bench as he tries to play his way back into favour but he starts Henrik Larsson never much doubt he was going to be a starter for Celtic tonight there's the lineup, and the big questions answered in the appearance of Boyd and McNamara on that team sheet. Tom Boyd replaces Olivier Tebele, and Jackie McNamara gets the nod for the central midfield pair in the absence of the suspended Alan Thompson, with uh, Lugo Moravcic held in reserve on the bench. It's a mouth-watering prospect, this Eric, is it not? Oh, it certainly is, Rob. It's a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere. It's really European football night. It's a big European night. And it'll be very interesting to see how the teams line up. Um, we had news earlier there that 
Ajax might go with a back four, two defensive midfield players and go with two wide players with a striker up and one off him. So that would certainly pose Celtic maybe the uh, problems initially. But I'm sure Martin O'Neill knows all about that and he's capable of adjusting it. Almost full to capacity as the match gets underway. 50,000 inside the Amsterdam Arena. And a match of huge significance for Celtic and Martin O'Neill. They swept the boards in domestic football last season. But uh, can they take things to a new level in Europe? They've been underachievers in recent times in Europe. They've never qualified for the Champions League. And there have been disappointing defeats in recent times against the likes of Bordeaux and Lyon, Croatia, Zagreb and Zurich. And a lot of people would reckon it's time Celtic delivered on the big stage an early free kick opportunity for them Johan Mialbi has gone forward to support Chris Sutton, a gat in the box Larson and Valharan as well Bobby Petter is there but he looks as if he's going to leave it to Neil Lennon an early test of the Ajax defence firmly headed away by Christian Shivu, the Romanian captain, only 20 and big roar going round the arena as Ajax mount their first attack. That's aimed at Ikeria, the little Nigerian. Back with Shibu. Breaking forward, Mido, the Egyptian. Not too troublesome for the Celtic defence, played away by Tom Boyd and flipped out by Didier Agat. It's a useful ball in. Good delivery on the cross ball, and that was Nikos Maklas, the Greek international, with the header. Yeah, one thing's for sure, Robert. If they get balls into the box, Maklas is a lethal finisher. I think he was a golden boot about two, three years ago, so he's a lethal finisher. And if they can get that type of quality into the box, then Celtic certainly will have a game in their hands. 34 goals in 32 games he scored for Vitesse Arnhem a couple of seasons back which won him that Golden Boots award and he is a clear threat 44 times capped by the Greek national side that was Shivu winning the header against Agat Lennon under pressure plays the ball away to Tom Boyd Boyd who hasn't had any first team action for Celtic this season but Martin O'Neill untroubled about the prospect of slotting him straight back in in place of Olivier Tepeli who played in the back three at the weekend Johan Nelby, one of the cornerstones of the Celtic defence. His throw aimed at the head of Henrik Larsson, but he was being watched very closely by Christian Chibu. Paul Lambert, who surprised even himself at the start of the season with his goal touch. Good skills from Larsson. A chance for Petter, possibly, but very quickly off his line was Fred Grimm, the Amsterdammer. Good safe hands. That's given away to Neil Lennon. Chris Sutton. Trying to thread that through for Henrik Larsson. Yakubu, the interceptor. Shivu. Awkward ball. Oh, I don't think he practiced that one on the training ground, Tom Boyd. Controlled between his knees. But it was effective. Rob Douglas with the clearance and Chris Sutton sent sprawling by Shivu's challenge. Free kick. Celtic settling to the task. Agat pushed that too far ahead. But he'll be looking to ask some serious questions early on, Eric, of Shivu. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think that's the key to the game at this moment in time it's the two wide players it's whether Fort Petta and Agat can push up quickly and get possession of the ball which obviously will take their two wide players back or will the Ajax manage to keep possession and get their wide players on the on the game uh, so it's, it's a difficult interesting tactical one at this moment in time Trebelsi the Tunisian played up and useful control as well from Maklas But again, a poor pass, hands possession back to Celtic, but Henrik Larsson couldn't keep it. Yakubu, one of two Nigerians in the Ajax side tonight. 
And that's Petri Pasanen, the Finnish international. It's a multinational setup at Ajax, only two Dutch players starting the match for them. And an average age of 22. Quite incredible at this sort of level. But some impressive youngsters they have, including this man, Shivu. Van der Vaart, young Dutchman, he's just 18. Yakubu. Good run from Ikedia, but couldn't quite catch it. No, he looks an exceptional talent, absolutely lightning with the ball, both with, at his feet and without the ball. And at times there, once or twice, he's been 1v1 with Valharan, which obviously I'm sure Celtic will try and quickly get covered across to him. But he looks a real threat offensively, but certainly when he loses the ball, Robbie doesn't look too interested in getting it back. Nearly six minutes gone, the BBC live match. Ajax nil, Celtic nil in the Amsterdam Arena. Yakubu. Muscled out of it there by Chris Sutton. Keen to play football out from the back. The Nigerian, but uh, Chris Sutton wasn't having it. Lambert and Lennon combined, they do it so well. Sutton, good touch. That's useful. And Grim panicked. Petter! Celtic and ahead, the Dutchman puts them in front in Amsterdam, a bad mistake by goalkeeper Grimm, living up to his surname, 1-0 Celtic. Oh yeah, it's a wonderful turn from Chris Sutton, he took the ball in so well, protected it so well, here we see it here Robbie's first touch is excellent, he knows where he wants to put it, lovely clip, goalkeeper panics completely, you could let, let that go through, but what a wonderful composed finish by Bobby Pepper, what a wonderful start for Celtic. Is placed into the roof of the net by Bobby Petter. Such a miserable season last season. Injury denied him a lot of action. But that is a sweet moment as he returns to his native country and fires Celtic ahead. And Fred Grimm will not be too keen to watch back the videotape of that moment as he palmed the ball straight into the path of Petter. But it was a cool and a clinical finish. And that gives Celtic the start they dreamed of. Neil Lennon in possession. Trying to pick out Larson. And the songs being sung in Amsterdam are Celtic songs. Raphael van der Vaart for Ajax to Christian Schifu. Peeling off was Nikos Maklas, waiting for the pass to reach him. Johan Mialvi was in the way. Yakubu that skids away from uh, Trabelsi. Stood very cool, the central defender for Ajax, but maybe a bit too casual there with the pass. Yeah, a bit of slight passing there, Robert. It'll be really interesting now to see how they react to going a goal down. We certainly knew that if they'd scored the goal quickly, they'd got the confidence up, they would have certainly been an exceptional team. The questions will now be asked of their mentality, and uh, let's see how they answer. It's very important now that Celtic can keep possession of the ball, at least for the next 10-15 minutes Larson obviously still a threat but if we can get Lambert on the ball then I'm sure he'll keep possession and Rob Douglas's towel getting him into a bit of bother with officialdom he's being asked to remove it from the side netting and that was the cause of that little delay much ado about not a lot Sutton who started the game so well for Celtic and that was Daniel Cruz Colombian youth international he's just 20 I suppose the oddities about the Ajax team are the players of over 22-23. They stick out. And Bobby Petta, a standout for that seventh-minute strike, which put Celtic in front. Yakubu with the clearance. Names like Cruyff and Kroll and Neeskins and Reichard and Van Basten and Bergkamp all echo around the memory banks of the... Ajax fans, but it's a, a new era for them. They hope they're building towards something successful. They've got an awful lot of talent here. But Celtic are hopeful that they can be good enough, experienced enough, strong enough to get through this qualifier. Hey, 
a gats slipping and sliding it is a surface which can cut up tonight in the event of rain but as it is it's bright and it's dry and the roof is back and the pitch open to the elements it's been relayed 25 times since it was, the stadium was built and that's only six years ago Eric that's a, an amazing statistic isn't it it certainly is it's uh, obviously it's a wonderful stadium but I can imagine that there would be problems with the, the grass and getting natural light into it but uh, they seem to have remedied it it's a wonderful wonderful pitch this evening we were down there earlier and it certainly looks wonderful so no excuses Van der Vaart with the throw chested down by Maklas played wide by Yakubu to Ukadia tiny figure great balance and control the pressure of being applied to Daniel Cruz by Bobby Petter back it goes all the way to goalkeeper Grimm and that might be a name which spawns a few headlines in the morning papers where the scoreline to stay like this Yakubu again it's poor distribution this hit though by Valharan helping him out his defensive buddy Johan Mialbi, back it goes to Rob Douglas and no threats so far in that Celtic rear guard 11 minutes gone Sutton loses it Shifu gets it back from Mido good movement up front from Maklas back from Lambert It's a wonderful play from Paul Lambert there, getting back very quickly to help out the back three. And any lack of touch for the striker, the Ajax striker, he's there to mop it up and quickly regain possession for, for Celtic. Henry Larson, we haven't seen too much of him so far, but that's always a dangerous phrase to use because he's almost his most dangerous when he's at his most quiet. A gat. Bit of wrestling going on to try to deny him the space he was looking for in the wide position. Mido, the Egyptian. 18 certainly doesn't look it. He scored half a dozen goals in Ajax's last warm-up match in the last midweek. Sutton's layoff intercepted by Shibu. Yakubu, Ikeja against Valhara. And Jos Valharan will hope that he can catch that, he's quick enough to get there to prevent that going behind for a corner kick and he's given a, a passing option by Neil Lennon. Petter's lost it. Nikos Maklas has it. Petter working hard, adding industry to his early goal touch. And Larson was knocked over by Fasanen, free kick. Dutch fans don't fancy that decision giving against their young central defender if you've just joined us you'll see the scoreline Ajax nil Celtic 1 Bobby Petter Sutton's touch Larson instant control Sutton again trying to drive his way into the box it breaks back for Henrik Larson waiting for his moment to lay the ball off to Petter McNamara into the penalty box he's got some room as well if Petter can find him in goes Sutton lost his footing at the key moment kept in by Agat that's a throw of Shibu the pace and the power of Didier Agat is such an important weapon to Celtic hesitation from Lambert and allowing Mido the chance to clear but Celtic keeping Ajax hemmed in Celtic have started very very positively again Bobby Petter showing just how quick he is wonderful quick feet and a great delivery and I think if Sutton hadn't been impeded just slightly it was another goal chance for Celtic It's a goal kick of Didier Agat. I'm sure Martin O'Neill might be charged one of these days with daylight robbery for what he paid Hibbs to get Agat to sell. I think £35,000 was the initial fee. And uh, to say he's blossomed 
He's putting it mildly and Celtic now with a big asset on their hands. He's putting pressure on Shifu. Celtic doing well at closing down, shutting the space. Neil Lennon prominent there. And Chris Sutton using his physical presence to great advantage there against Yakubu. Ajax haven't been allowed to settle by Celtic. That's been crucial so far. Lennon trying to create. Out wide is Agatz. Useful ball in, it was curling away from Grimm and headed behind by Pasana. Yeah, wonderful delivery again. Celtic, that's twice now in the last two to three minutes that Celtic have had very, very good crosses into a very dangerous area. Grimm, as the goalkeeper, couldn't possibly come into that area. And if we can continue with that service and that type of delivery, then Celtic will certainly score again. And they have a set-piece opportunity here. McNamara and Petter over the ball. Bobby Petter's cross is wicked. It's off the crossbar. It's pammed away by Gloom. Ajax survive and Celtic within inches of going two ahead. Yeah, very, very close again there. Just as we said prior to that, a great delivery into the box. Larson getting the flick on it. Didn't quite go over the line. Lovely glancing header, but that's a real threat and they really are causing them problems with Sutton and Larson's ability in the air. Larson. This time no challenge on Grimm and he's able to grab it but he is a one rattled goalkeeper after only 16 and a half minutes he's been busy and beaten once already free kick going against the late Celtic challenge there quickly taken Melby's clearance Larson's way off Kamara to Petter, switch sides, having come over to take the corner kick on the right, he stayed on this side. Three Ajax players around him. Back to Agatz, further back to Nyalbi. Good header from Shivu. Nyalbi clever, cleverly directing that to Agatz. Yakubu got there before Larson. But Ajax unable to be creative in these early stages. It's Celtic are causing all the problems. Yeah, Celtic are looking very, very comfortable, Rob, at this moment in time. Ajax still have a threat, and it's important that they continue to, to be disciplined defensively, Celtic. But they're doing that very well, and what they are doing is pressing the game wonderfully. They're waiting to the right time. They know Ajax want to play out from the back. They're allowing them possession just in the mid area there, and then suddenly they're all pushing forward. Lennon, McNamara and the wing-backs are pushing up, so it's, uh, it's a very disciplined and very organised defensive structure and a very good start for Celtic. And maybe signs of the frustration setting in with Ajax in that long ball played down the line, which sped away from the Ajax attackers and they were unable to make anything of it, so still no test of the goalkeeping of Robert Douglas so far, and as far as Celtic are concerned, long may that continue. Larson was the target, Van der Vaart got his head to it, that was Lennon. Rafael van der Vaart again. And it's now with Travelsi, the Tunisian. Useful long ball picking out Nikos Maklas, great control on the chest. But there's experience and good reading of the game from Tom Boyd. Right place, right time. And you can see exactly why Martin O'Neill chose to pick him. Olivier Tebele, the player to miss out. He's been in the back three for Celtics. First two SPL games. Larson. Drill ball to Agat. He's away from Shivu. Didier Agat has scored! It's 2-0 Celtic! 19 minutes gone. Superb pass from Larson there. It was down to sheer pace and precision on the finish. Grim beaten for a second time. Oh, again, great striking partnership, certain wonderful layoff, 
Jack Larson is inch perfect into Gats feet and what a wonderful pace to get in front of the defender and a very composed finish what a wonderful goal here we see him again Rob. great pace lifts his head knows where he's going to put it side foots it across the goalkeeper and it's safely into the back of the net real quality as well on that volley pass from Henrik Larson and, and then Shivu was a beaten man you could see it in his face there he just couldn't catch a gat he had him for pace and that was a very cool finish Agat's criticised sometimes for the quality of his finishing Mido for Ajax into the box headed away by Neil Lennon Ajax looking for a quick response and see they're stunned they're probably putting it mildly Van der Vaart now on the ball it's beyond Douglas and Bobby Petter knew he couldn't take any chances Acadia was in behind him and so he's nodded that behind and Ajax have their first corner kick of the match it's taken short which pulls Bobby Petta out Avaladze with a chance now it's Shivu passed into the box it's well defended as well and it was Jos Valharan who was in the way vital bit of rock solid defending from him because there were three Ajax players around him he got there first and forced the ball away yeah very good defending again everybody there back in numbers to defend the corner the ball breaks out there was a real threat from Shibu lovely touch to open up a shooting opportunity but very very quick defending very brave defending from the three centre backs and they've managed to pressure the stroke it was a dangerous pass and it played Josvar Haran right into trouble he does well to recover and he maybe does well too to escape a caution there because I reckon he'd a handful of Ikeria's shirt initially after he slipped yeah he's just tried to turn inside I mean he knows where the man is but Ikeria is all over the top of him here and to be fair to Val Holland, he does very very well to recover the situation Mido's cross but uh, the young Egyptian will be disappointed with that it's straight into the arms of Robert Douglas and none of the Ajax frontmen able to get close enough to make a challenge Chris Sutton such a valuable player for Celtic so far in the match doing a power of work and Ajax being pressured into making foul challenges like that one from Shivu on Larson. Henrik Larson was between Shivu and the ball and he was simply flattened by the Romania. And Celtic have the free kick approaching the midway point in the first half. Ajax nil, Celtic two. Petta and Agat and uh, if you're putting on a wee bet, I don't know if the wager before the match had Celtic scored two goals have been in favour of Petta and Agat not exactly the most prolific of marksmen but two great finishes tonight yeah. no you're absolutely right Rob they've been instrumental both in terms of pushing Ajax back pressing the ball and to, to boot they've given us a goal each so it's absolutely wonderful start for both of them and again Agat really keen to get forward and his pace is a real threat constantly for Ajax it's a great interception by Agat Henrik Larsson's cross Grimm again looking unsettled McNamara forces it back and just trundles into the keeper's hands but if Celtic can get more quality ball into the box there can be more goals for them here in Amsterdam that seems to be clear the way this first half has gone but in saying that they also want to keep the door shut at the other end Raphael van der Vaart on the ball wide for Ikedia played in low difficult bouncing ball it came off the shins of Tom Boyd and spun back to goalkeeper Douglas missed by Valharan but Tom Boyd was doing what he's paid for and covering in behind Chris Sutton took a bang on the head in that challenge with Shivu Larson's layoff great awareness from Larson of exactly where Didier Agat was Slows it right down, but he's well capable of speeding it back up. Shibu comes out on top this time. That's cool defending. He was beaten all ends up when Agat scored. Beaten for pace. Free kick given against Boyd. For the challenge on Nikos Maklas, the 28 year old Greek striker. Valadze, the Georgian, plays it wide for the overlapping Trebelsi. Ikedia with Valharan at his back. Cruz 
Daniel Cruz gets it back. Van der Vaart on his left foot, shot deflected, Mido! Good save Robert Douglas. That could prove to be just as important as the two goals from Petter and Agat. He was well positioned and he beat the shot away from Mido. And a warning to Celtic that Ajax are on the way back. Shota Avaladze operating just behind the strikers playing just off Matlas Mido pushes the ball beyond the gaps that's a great recovery from Didier Gatt he always just confident in his own mind that he has the pace to get back yeah here we see the chance Rob great one two nice build up work miss hit lands at the feet of the Egyptian he's tried to finish it in strength it's a good strike and Rob Douglas, great credit, he stood long enough to try and defect the throttle win. Mido, he looks a threat. And that's off Neil Lennon. Out for a throw, not a corner kick. An Egyptian youth international, Mido. Here he is again. Played that in first time, lofted it towards the far post. More in hope than expectation. And again, Douglas was untroubled, no Ajax challenge on ball downfield Hassanin heads it away free kick given in favour of Arvaladze and he's in a hurry to get on with it Ajax giving a lot of the ball to Mido they see potential in what he can do down the left side the Egyptian teenager Hassanin the Finn Nigeria Nikidia Travelsi heading for the byline and that's a goal kick and it's a long way back the BBC live match in Amsterdam and Co Adrians the Ajax head coach could be happier I think uh, Putting it, that's maybe putting it mildly the sides two goals to nil down and he won't be at all impressed with the way they've defended but you would have to hand Celtic a lot of credit for the way they've forced Ajax into errors yeah no doubt about it but he'll be a very unhappy man it's a disastrous start for Ajax I just feel now that they don't have any leadership they lack that leadership that command that experience to lift the squad to lift the players now and it doesn't seem to be coming from anywhere a very young squad and it's showing at this moment in time Lennon's free kick finds Chris Sutton Henrik Larsson well that's more than half a chance in Henrik Larsson's book and he's disappointed that he couldn't have made more of that well set up by Sutton and he's burst the net from just that sort of position before yeah that's certainly a chance that Henrik Larsson would uh, put down in his book as a real chance a difficult one to take it's coming over his shoulder he has to volley it but a real other opportunity again there for Celtic and they're going to create chances and I think that we could be in for more goals. Yakubu, van der Vaart into the feet of Maklas, back for Arvaladze, it slipped under his boot, Jackie McNamara was there. That's a heavy return pass from Sutton. Ajax have it back, van der Vaart again, Mido. Now for Shivu. So impressive for Romania at Euro 2000. That's not impressive at all. The passing, which gives the ball away. Neat touch from Henrik Larsson. Driving forward from midfield, Paul Lambert. He was having his shot held. And the Spanish referee, Mr Nieto, waiting for an advantage, which wasn't forthcoming. So Celtic have a free kick. Just one minute short of the half hour. Things going better for Martin O'Neill than he could have dared hope. Bobby Petter, quick feet, good control. Al Haran reacting quickly. Naomi Albi. Aimed at Larson, chested down for Chris Sutton. Again, a good touch on the ball to keep possession. Sets up Didier Agat and Sutton and Larson head for the middle. There's Larson. 
It could be. And settled by the presence of Sutton. Back for a gap. Powerfully hit cross. Wouldn't quite come down for Larson. Yakubu forces it away, but only as far as Lennon and Lambert. And now Mialbi. Again, it's a gut. Chris Sutton trying to get on the end of it. Hassan in, headed it clear. That's Boyd. Slips back by Arvaladze to Shivu. Ikedia peeling away to the wide position, picking up some room. Back goes Bobby Petta. Cruz, Van der Vaart, and Lido. Two Celtic players went for that. McNamara and Valhara. Lack of communication there, but it didn't cost Celtic that time. Yakubu to uh, Trabelsi. 24-year-old Tunisian. Ikedia. Again in a threatening position, but his cross cut out by Tom Boyd. Not quite the delivery into the box he was looking for there. Celtic coped pretty comfortably. Now they try to spark an attack. Lennon and Lambert setting up a gat. Lambert available again. McNamara. Jackie McNamara linking the play together. Nelby's pass into the feet of Chris Sutton. McNamara was there bursting through. Pace and power from him, but no free kick. Shivu twisting away from Sutton back to Grimm. And I don't think the Ajax fans were feeling totally confident as he juggled the ball with his feet there on the goal line because he's not had a pleasant evening so far. Well, it's been a bit of a disaster for him and he now looks a bit shaky. Rob, any crosses that are coming into the box now, he's not keen to come to them. The defenders are not the biggest and they have no confidence now in him and it's, uh, he's really started very, very poorly. And now with the ball at his feet, he looked rather shaky, so it's... Uh, there's certainly a possibility for Celtic. Lennon squares it, Lambert slips, McNamara doesn't. A delicate chip through looking for Valhadden. And that's an offside flag, which spares any blushes for Ajax this time. The scoreline from Ibrox is Rangers nil, Fenerbahce nil. Still square there, but uh, just look at the scoreline here. Ajax nil, Celtic two first half goals from Bobby Petta and from Didier Agat. It's been a superb performance so far from Celtic. They'll hope to maintain this level and they would certainly be hoping at this stage that there'll be more scoring opportunities coming along because they really have had the Ajax defence struggling. Van der Vaart. The Dutch teenager. Shivu. Romanian skipper. He fired in that cross, but it's well away from Maklas. And Bobby Petta was able to turn the ball out of play. Van der Vaart. Passana. Ikeria. Two against one wins it for Celtic. Neil Lennon in possession. And that's off the little Nigerian uh, for a Celtic throw. Van der Vaart in the midfield for Ajax, Eric, and uh, I think it's points off for the first one to call him Van der Vaart. <laughs> he is an absolutely fantastic football player. He's only 18 years of age, but he's standing head and shoulders above uh, most of the other players in his own team at this moment in time, and he looks a wonderful prospect. He's got great vision, he's got a wonderful touch in the ball, and is so composed for a man or a, for a boy of his age. It was an Arvalanzi we saw there as well, the Georgian who's been in dispute with the club. He was refusing to sign a new contract and he was frozen out of the first team picture until tonight. And uh, he's suspicious that Ajax just won him back for this game and there's going to be nothing really at the end of it as far as he's concerned. But uh, he's back in his customary position playing just off the front and he is a definite threat for Celtic. And Mark O'Neill will know all about what he can do an experienced Georgian international it's good play from Paul Lambert nipping the ball off the toes of Mido but it's at the expense of a corner kick 
with not much more than 10 minutes left in the first half. Concentration on the face of Rob Douglas. And that's the man we've just been speaking about. Van der Vaar with the corner kick. It's flicked away by McNamara. Acadia onto it. And that's a forgettable effort at goal from him. It's been a miserable first half for Ajax. It's gone better than Celtic had dared hope, as I said. And, well, it's the stuff that nightmares are made of, I think, for Coadrian. Well, no doubt about it. Um, you'll be sitting down there just wondering how he can turn this around. I don't think he's got any more experienced players on the bench. He may try and change the system, but the players that are out there are, are used to this system. But at this moment in time, they really do not seem to be threatening Celtic at all. And Celtic are looking very, very comfortable and becoming more and more comfortable as the game goes on. Bobby Petter trying to wrestle himself clear of the challenge by Trabelsi. He couldn't do so, and a free kick is his. Another chance for Celtic to threaten. Valharan and Mialbi have gone forward to support Sutton and Larson. In from Lennon. Headed away by Shivu. Van der Vaart. Allowed to progress by Celtic, who now funnel back behind the ball. Cruz making the run. Gat making the challenge and wins it for Celtic. Chris Sutton reacting quickly. And now Gat. Stayed very cool in a cluttered midfield there, found Lennon. And that's a heavy challenge from Pasanen on Larson. Didn't get the ball, he certainly got the Celtic striker. And Larson is still on the ground, just getting back to his feet now. But that looked to be a challenge that went for the man rather than the ball, as Ajax contemplate a substitution. And the first half is not yet over. And Fury going now with the frustration for Ajax reacting badly to decisions going against them yeah here we can see he does very well to win the ball a bit of frustration desperate to try and press the ball and I think he actually comes round the side of McNamara there so I think his frustration there was um, was probably well guided yeah a booking that uh, Van der Vaart by the looks of that didn't deserve but uh, they certainly uh, won't get themselves anywhere by tugging at the referee's shirt. That won't go down too well. Fred Grimm sprinting out to the edge of his penalty box before hurling the ball clear to Mido. Misjudgment by Mialbi and now he's got a long chase back. Mido's cross picks out Ikeria. Except it looking a little bit stretched. But he needed to get that controlled quickly and played in. And Cruz... Good run from Daniel Cruz right into the danger area. A great cut out by Jos Valharan. Maklas was waiting, Avaladze was waiting, Mido was in the danger area as well. And Valharan so valuable there for Celtic. Four in the box for Ajax, two just outside. In from Van der Vaart and here comes Rob Douglas to claim it. But what must be infuriating the Ajax coaches at the sideline is that there was no challenge there on the Celtic keeper. No, it's a great take from Robert Douglas, but again, no real threat in the air. Reasonably well-delivered ball at the time, but still there's no real threat in the air for, for Ajax, and it's a comfortable take, and he was very unfortunate not to start an attack. Wonderful run for Henrik Larsson. Ikidia. Again, taking too long to get the ball under control, and... That was all the encouragement Neil Lennon needed. Celtic have poured a lot of effort into this first half to go with the undoubted ability. And they've looked a very, very strong unit in the first half. Petri Pasanen played up to Nikos Maklas. Good control, good layoff. Ikeria cuts in. Gets the break of the ball. Here's a chance for Ajax. It's Maklas, Douglas pans it away, but it's forced in by Arvaladze. Ajax pull a goal back, six minutes from half-time, and it's Shota Arvaladze, the man who came in from the cold, and he's reawakened Ajax hopes.
Yeah, it was a wonderful burst of pace. A bit fortunate there, some slack defending from the Celtic players. Maclis turns. Douglas can only parry it to the side here. Wonderful turn by Maclis. Doesn't quite catch it. Douglas stops it. Might have hoped to get it further away, but good finishing, good falling out from Aberladze, and that's the last thing Celtic needed just before half time. That could prove to be a real shot in the arm for Ajax, and uh, immediately Rob Douglas gives the ball away with a poor kick out. And Celtic will want to get themselves settled down and start playing the way they were playing. Tom Boyd ushered that ball behind, showed all his experience and know-how. And Rob Douglas being told to get on with the game. And I wonder if there's a question mark against the Celtic keeper that he didn't push that shot out wider rather than into the path of Avalanche for the goal. Maybe he was slightly surprised with the, how quickly Maclis turned and had the shot. He'd probably be a lot happier if it had gone slightly wider. He did get down to it, it was a difficult one to stop, but uh, he might have wished that that had gone slightly further wider. That's, that's all for after-match chat for now. Ajax back in the game at 2-1 down. And that's a scoreline which will sound a whole lot better to them than it did. Celtic 2-0 up and threatening to go further clear. Now just one goal the difference between these two and Celtic certainly won't want to concede another one before half-time. They would have happily settled for uh, any sort of lead going into the away dressing room at the interval. And there's a yellow card for Neil Lennon for that tug at the shorts. So a yellow card for either side now, Van der Vaart for Ajax and Lennon for Celtic. Yeah, again, it's just frustration, Rob. He's, he's lost possession of the ball carelessly. He's unhappy about doing that, and he's tried very hard to, to win the ball back. But uh, Celtic still, I think, in control. But Ajax certainly coming into the game now that they scored that goal. Matt Klaas, who was instrumental in the goal, which Ajax pulled back. It was his shot, which was touched away by Douglas. And it was Arvaladze who supplied the finishing touch. And now a, a set piece situation of which Celtic will be weary and Rob Douglas making sure that he's got everything right in front of him Rafael van der Vaart is over the ball and Petri Pasanen the defender is just behind him it's a thin yellow line just inside the box for Celtic van der Vaart right into the wall, tries again and this time with the right foot it flashed well wide so that's well defended by Celtic and disappointment for the youngster yeah good solid defending from the wall there, stood strong hasn't clipped it as well as he liked he's got a wonderful touch in the ball and I'm sure that he would have liked to have at least tested Robert Douglas in that occasion a little bit of Greek back chart from Nikos Maklas Douglas aims at Sutton. That was Mido who won the header. Paul Lambert. Mialbi. Henrik Larsson hanging in the air for the header. It breaks back to him as well off Yakubu. Valharan, Petta. It's a loose one from Jos Valharan. And Celtic don't really want to offer any encouragement to Ajax at this stage. Just a minute and a half of the regulation 45 left, but that's given away by Amido. Straight at Neil Lennon, a gap to Larson. His pass blocked by Yukubu. And the Larson studs were showing against Arvaladze. Free kick. And it's the Georgian himself in possession. I gather we're having a few picture problems at the moment. We'll hope to get that sorted out. Van der Vaart gets it back. It's chipped over the top. Apologies again for the loss of pictures from Amsterdam. You can be sure that we're working on it. As Celtic try to preserve their 2-1 lead with just 30 seconds left.
of the first half plus any stoppage time to be added on Neil Lennon to Johan Mialbi played in field to Sutton lays it off to Larson midway inside the Ajax half Agatz crosses a clever one a cross came to Abelsi to cut out the danger for Ajax and now they push forward but it's a poor pass out of defence from Petri Pasanen and it's gone out of play and Celtic have a throw two minutes to be added and we've now played exactly 45 two minutes between us and the half-time whistle Celtic in possession with Mialpi on the halfway line played forward towards Larson it breaks back to Daniel Cruz for Ajax in the middle of the midfield plays it wide to the overlapping fullback Trabelsi Acadia but he can't keep possession there's a stiff challenge from Neil Lennon wins it for Celtic and gets a return pass from Bobby Petta played in field to Jos Valharan a short pass to Paul Lambert back to Valharan charging through the centre circle plays it wide left to Henrik Larsson Valharan and Sutton waiting in the middle there's Chris Sutton saved by Fred Graham just as Sutton looked likely to make it three couldn't really have done more Sutton drove the shot in it was a reflex stop by the goalkeeper but Celtic now threatening again with a gat turn back for Larson. it's a corner kick and just ahead of the half time whistle Celtic so close here to going 3-1 ahead that's a great stop from Sutton's effort yeah it's a wonderful break forward from Valharan lovely ball in from Larson. Sutton can do no more he's got on target and perhaps Grimm is made up from one or two of his earlier errors that's a brilliant save when you look at it there by the goalkeeper here's the corner kick played in by Bobby Petta cleared but only as far as Lennon we've played 100 seconds of added time and that's flicked away by Pasanen. And a little bit of respite for the Ajax defence, which has been seriously stretched in the first half. They've struggled to cope with what Celtic have thrown at them. And what they've thrown at them has been a top quality performance. Well, Haran's throw. Sutton's head. Larson trying to guide that back to McNamara. Almost found its way through. And that's half time in the Amsterdam arena. And the big cheer is from the Celtic supporters. The Ajax fans still somewhat stunned about what they've seen in this first half. Goals from Bobby Petta and Didier Agat, both beautifully taken at Celtic. Two goals to nil in front. Arvaladze pulls one back for Ajax just before half time, but it's these Celtic supporters who are absolutely delighted with what they've seen so far, Eric. Yeah, wonderful performance from Celtic. Very professional, very disciplined, wonderfully inventive up front. Larson Sutton have been very, very clever. Pet in the wider area, fantastic. Aga, a real threat with his pace and his desire to get forward. And it's been an all-round really good performance. I just hope now that Ajax, having been given a, a boost there, obviously 10, 15 minutes before the end, don't come out and change and possibly give more threats to Celtic but I, I can actually see Celtic scoring yep it certainly could have been a bigger lead for Celtic but I don't think anyone inside that away dressing will be complaining about the halftime scoreline which is Ajax 1 Celtic 2 the job is only half done I'm sure Steve Walford and John Robertson and Martin O'Neill have been making that perfectly clear to the Celtic players during the interval it's been a wonderful first half performance from the Scottish champions but they really need to produce the same again in the second 45 they'll not want to be rolling out any sort of welcome mat to Ajax to allow them back into the game Arvaladze having given them a little injection of hope towards the tail end of that first half and there is the substitution we were expecting late on in the first half and it's uh, Ibrahimovic who's come on despite his surname he's a, a Swedish international he's only 19 uh, you wouldn't really expect him to be much older than that such as the age average of the, this amazing Ajax side he's a new signing from Malmo and when you hear that they've paid 5 million pounds for a 19 year old 
well maybe you know all about the sort of quality that he has and the sort of potential he has as well he's a big muscly striker despite the fact that he's still a teenager and uh, he's possibly a new problem Eric that Celtic will have to contend with yeah he's a very very skillful player he's a wonderful attacking player but uh, it'll take him time to settle in hopefully um, they haven't I think they've changed the structure slightly Rob they're going with two players through the middle this time with uh, Maklas and Ibrahimovic so we'll just see how they settle down the first five minutes but yeah he's one to watch no doubt about it first involvement for Mido his pass slipping away from Daniel Cruz the Colombian but did well to keep possession under pressure from Neil Lennon Mido again and out wide Shivu early ball in chested back towards Mido Celtic trying to stay firm at the back that's a useful ball in from Mido and well Robert Douglas did well because that would have surprised many he just whipped that in and on this sort of surface that could have been deadly no that's a very good take from Robert Douglas he'll be happy with that he didn't even look Mido there he just he's eliminated the full back I think it was Agat and he's whipped the ball in very quickly chance for Henrik Larsson so close to 3-1 Celtic just 80 seconds gone in the second half and again it's bad defending from Pisana and a dreadful mistake and Henrik Larsson steering his shot wide of the post he'll be disappointed not to have stretched Celtic's lead yeah he'll be very disappointed very good though Larsson very persistent he's waiting in any mistake that might be made by the defenders Prince presents the opportunity to him there and he's, he's very unfortunate just to pull it by the far post good play from Jakubu Ibrahimovic threatening against Boyd and that's a good effort from Arbeladze at the edge of the area and that's cheered up the Ajax supporters dangerous coming onto the ball the Georgian yeah he's coming from deeper Rob so he's going to get presented with several shots from maybe outside the area Ibrahimovic again showing his strength his touch uh, linking very well with Avaladze there but again Robert Douglas very well positioned and comfortably taking the shot Bobby Petter the man who opened the scoring after just seven minutes chips that forward to Henrik Larsson two players trying to get to Larsson neither could manage now Sutton and Didier Agat had found himself an awful lot of room wide right had Sutton been able to move that one on but it's Ajax in possession with Ibrahimovic cleared by Mialbi Van der Vaart Mido Mialbi stumbles and back goes Paul Lambert to shut off the route or to attempt to but Mido still managed to squeeze that into the box not so troublesome this time for Douglas but they're a talented team on the offensive Ajax that is clear and Celtic will have to be very watchful Van der Vaart to Shibu the Ajax fans trying to get their team going it was a stuttering show for much of the first half from them and the quality on that pass from Jakubu to Ibrahimovic not good enough skidded away his first name is Zlatan and that's the name he wears on the back of his shirt and Coadrian's hoping for better in the second period from his team the former Ajax youth coach he was away at Willem Tway took them into the Champions League and now back as first team boss at Ajax Grimm's clearance Arvalante was there but bags of time for Johan Mialbi to make the clearance a good one Fasana Shivu infield to Van der Vaart Travelsi and again the pass flicked away by McNamara finding Lambert Lennon Paul Lambert couldn't control that one from his central midfield mate and now Avalanti the Egyptian Mido fired in again low cleared by Mialbi 
slipped away by Petter. McNamara making up the ground, finding Larson. Lovely touch from Larson. Away, spinning away from Pasanen. And again, Sutton waits. There is Chris Sutton. And the whistle is gone. Presumably for an offside. Just as Celtic got themselves into another very threatening position. Or was the ball over the line? I think that's the, the ruling that Larson had dragged the ball out. That didn't look as if the whole ball was over the line. No, it certainly didn't look like that from there, Rob. I don't know whether it was an infringement of some kind, but the linesman was was very sure that something had happened in the central area. But a wonderful run from Larson again there. Pulled it back and unfortunately for certain the ball just didn't fall for him. Well, there was still a chance there for Sutton to score after the whistle had, after the whistle had gone because uh, he was dancing away from the goalkeeper. And Celtic have created so many chances in this match already. Larson's downward header to Sutton. They link so well. McNamara to Petta. Away from Cruz. Good feet from Bobby Petta. Stumbles right to the edge of the area. Looks up, hopefully towards Antonio Lopez Nieto no free kick yeah it's a great run again from Bobby Petter lovely quick feet I think he's actually lost possession of the ball there so there may not have been an infringement but that's really direct play from Petter that's a good save by Robert Douglas to deny Nikos Maklas Tom Boyd lost his footing at the edge of the area that's where this chance came from yeah he just slipped unfortunately great first touch from Maklas opens himself up Hits the target and Douglas does very well to get across and, and parry it for a corner. But it's putting a bit of pressure on now, Ajax. Van der Vaart's corner kick. Flicked on by Ibrahimovic. Away by Sutton. Celtic trying to push out. Jakubu. Valharan's header. Jakubu. Again for Ajax. That was a tremendous save from... Rob Douglas a few moments ago because you could see that he was at absolutely full stretch to tip that one away and his manager Martin O'Neill will have been delighted about uh, that save and several which have preceded it it's uh, maybe a performance tonight from Rob Douglas which will win over a few of the doubters although if you're being hypercritical maybe you will ask questions about his part in the Arvalanzi goal but aside of that he really has been responsible for some superb saves. Yakubu. Rebelsi on the overlap. But any ball that isn't played directly to feet tends to slip away from its target. And that makes it ten times more difficult. Yeah, no doubt about it. What's interesting now, but Ajax are not playing with a naturally right-sided uh, wide player at this moment. So most of the their attacks are going down the left side Avaladze is sitting in midfield and that could give Bobby Petter just that little bit more room to try and exploit uh, the left hand side yeah they've had to sacrifice Ikedia the little Nigerian uh, to pull on Ibrahimovic so it's a different approach from Ajax in the second half but uh, certainly some potential problems for Celtic Mido's cross and that's not one of his better efforts and that was right down the throat of the Celtic keeper you're watching BBC Scotland, the big match in Amsterdam. Ajax 1, Celtic 2. Nine second half minutes played. And don't switch off or switch over because this match has had so much drama already. And you get the feeling there's a bit more to come. Lennon's pass to McNamara. Bobby Petter against Daniel Cruz. Lennon, a little burst of pace away from Avaladze. Sutton, and Didier Gat has some room. Early ball in, there goes Chris Sutton! A third Celtic goal, a crashing header from Sutton. Nine and a half minutes played in the second half. And that's 3-1. Wonderful goal. Oh, top, top level. What a wonderful delivery from Didier Gat. A really brave header from Chris Sutton, comes between the two defenders, great ball in, he attacks the ball, hits the target, there's no chance for the goalkeeper there. Lovely curling ball in, here he arrives, he's no way he's missing this one, wonderful strike and a well-deserved goal.
the two central defenders hesitated Hassanin and Yakubu but Chris, Chris Sutton wasn't hanging about he went for it 100% and you won't see a firmer or more decisive header than that and it puts Celtic 3-1 ahead against Ajax on their home patch Nido onto his right foot that took a deflection and it's a corner kick and the moment it was deflected you just wondered where it was heading but it went wide of target corner kick for Ajax and well, you don't need me to tell you that Mido looks a real player in the making 18 years old Van der Vaart's corner kick punched away by Douglas Henrik Larsson on his own at the moment holds the ball up perfectly McNamara, Lambert now Celtic counter Didier Agat Chris Sutton getting forward McNamara is there Sutton is there Didier Agat still has it against Yakubu not quite sure which way to turn the defender helping out is Lambert a neat one two kept in well by Paul Lambert and Rick Larson's there Bobby Petta is in bags of room left side if he could have worked that one over but he didn't know he was there Henrik Larson and Tom Boyd well positioned to cut out the pass from Mido and it's off Ibrahimovic Celtic's throw and just about every time Celtic push forward they look likely to add to their tally no doubt about it Didier Gatt has been outstanding because he's had to defend he's had to get forward Petr, the, the last goal was outstanding, really top, top level football from Celtic. It starts on the left-hand side, they work it across the central area, out to a gap, wonderful ball in, and a fabulous goal. And Celtic are now really buoyant, and let's hope they can just keep possession of the ball now, but uh, I think they might score again, the way things are suffering. Van der Bart's pass picks out Ibrahimovic. Bobby, Bobby Petr intercepting, but it wasn't the shortest of passes. Neil Lennon with a bit of chasing to do before Arvaladze could get there Ibrahimovic good touch on the ball big and strong as well Van der Vaart Valharan and Boyd trying to win it back for Celtic Mido to Shibu. three at the edge of the area for Ajax but that's great covering from Chris Sutton he's doing good work all over the pitch and I suppose the arrival of John Hartson won't have done him any harm because you'll know that uh, subpar performances will mean dropping out of the side and uh, well, he certainly couldn't describe his contribution tonight as subpar. No, first class striking performance from Chris Sutton. As you say, Rob, uh, interesting to see that Bobby Petter has been outstanding as well with Mr Guppy sitting on the bench and John Hartson waiting to get involved in the game and Sutton and Larson have been outstanding. So it just shows you the strength uh, of having a good quality squad been able to change things quickly, been able to have good variation, good quality coming in and it certainly spurred them on tonight. There's a neat exchange between Larson and Petta and Larson was having, Petta was having his shirt pulled there by Trebelsi as he tried to get in behind the African fullback. But Bobby Petta can't get through, trying his best. Daniel Cruz back to help out as well for Ajax. Free kick quickly taken. Van der Vaart. It's good play from Jackie McNamara. Well, I think he's unlucky there to have a free kick given against him. He looked to have got the ball and it was good challenging. No, I think a great determination to get back. He's won the ball cleanly there. He's taken the ball away and very unfortunate to lose possession. Maybe that's the ref levelling things up there because he booked Van der Vaart for a tackle in the first half in which he seemed to get the ball. That tackle was on the Dutch midfielder and it certainly didn't look like a free kick. But that's history now. Mido with the ball in his hands. Ibrahimovic coming short to receive it, but Neil Lennon getting himself in the way. Neil Lennon's a player you would always want on your side rather than having to play against. He's everywhere. And the combination with Lambert in centre midfield offers Celtic such a strong stranglehold. And they've certainly had that tonight so far. And they want to maintain top concentration, big, big work rate as well to keep themselves in pole position which is currently where they are Mido's pass is poor easy cut out for Mialbe played away by Agat Henrik Larsson with a bit of work to do but he's not frightened of that 
Lambert has it now. Being chased by Van der Vaart. Away by Mialbi. Sutton gets himself there. Cruz. Chavelsi. The Celtic supporters making a lot of noise. 8,000 of them officially, although you suspect there might be a few more than that. Van der Vaart again trying to find a hole in the Celtic defence. Ibrahimovic stretching out to keep possession. But not the best ball in. Petr was there for Celtic and responding to a shout from his teammates to get the ball away. And a free kick given against Yakubu. And as he protests towards the referee, he's told to cut that out. Finding Henrik Larsson a bit too hot to handle. 16 minutes gone in the second half. BBC Scotland with the live match from the Amsterdam Arena. And it's Ajax 1, Celtic 3. That sounds good. Celtic, a long way to go, of course. Another leg of this tie to come, but Celtic certainly at the moment, you would have to say, heading towards the Champions League. And Eric was speaking about the new depth in Mark O'Neill's squad. He wanted that for the season. He knew he had to have it for Celtic to have any real expectations about their European participation this season. And he now... Has uh, a bit more in the way of options, a bit more in the way of strength. And you can almost see that from the way the first 11 is performing out here tonight. It's been top quality, but he's got other changes that he can make in the second half. He's got the likes of Hartson and Sila and Moravchik and Guppy, all players who could come on and do a job for him. And that's way over the top. But it's a pretty healthy looking bench, isn't it, Eric? It's, certainly, it's a very impressive looking bench and uh, quite an expensive looking bench as well but uh, real quality there for a backup for Martin O'Neill at this moment in time there's no need to, to use anybody I can see Lubo Moravchik warming up so maybe we're getting an introduction from Lubo perfect game for him to come into good quality opposition and a, a top top player and a nice stage to bring him on as well when you're in command both in terms of scoreline and in the way the match is going 3-1 Celtic ahead and uh, well, that's a, a nice psychological edge if you can throw a player of the quality of Moravchik on and uh, if Ajax thought they had problems, they might have one more one coming their way shortly as well uh, when Moravchik comes into the game. He'll be used selectively this season by Martin O'Neill who constantly jokes about Moravchik's age but he is full of creative influence for the side. Van der Vaart for Ajax. Argaladze. Mido. Gat defend, defending this time. The cross played beyond Douglas. Chased by Ibrahimovic. And well, that doesn't look like a fair fight, does it? Ibrahimovic against Peta. There's about a foot in it, I think, in terms of height. But uh, Bobby Peta coming away with the ball. The whistle's gone for a free kick for Ajax. It's taken quickly between Van der Vaart and Cruz. Arvalati, Shivu, crisply played to Van der Vaart, and wide for Shivu again. The cross lofted in, and well, you would have to say that is very disappointing. He's a top quality player, the Romanian captain, but that was floated in to no one in particular. Yeah, it was a hopeful ball in actually, Rob, he doesn't seem to have that much conviction behind it they look to have dropped their heads again slightly I think the, the tie has come maybe a couple of years too early for Ajax there's some wonderful wonderful footballers out there but just lacking a bit of experience and a, slight, a bit of direction at this moment in time but um, it's very healthy for Celtic and let's hope it continues that way very healthy for Celtic and you saw the reaction there from the Celtic supporters they are having a ball shadow cast over the game free kickoff with uh, the shooting in the Amsterdam bar this afternoon and we hope all is well on that score and that's the sort of incident of course which puts football firmly in its place and uh, it's only a game when you hear of happenings like that one uh, so a, a lot of worry a lot of concern among the Celtic supporters about what happened there but uh, certainly smiles on faces at the moment in a football sense in the stadium with Celtic looking to be in a very strong position indeed. The third round of qualifiers leading towards the Champions League. 90 minutes to come at Celtic Park in a fortnight. But uh, 
Celtic couldn't really have hoped to have got themselves into a better sort of situation than this one. 20 minutes played in the second half. 3-1 ahead, goals from Peta and Agat in the first half. Al Arvaladze pulled one back. But that uh, thumping header from Chris Sutton has reopened that two-goal advantage. Daniel Cruz for Ajax. Mido. Van der Vaart into Maklas trying to lay that off for Van der Vaart is well defended by Celtic and played up to Henrik Larsson on halfway Sutton continues it on its path out wide to Peta that's off Travelsi the Tunisian 26 caps for his country a new signing in the summer as the revolving door has again operated and Ajax has put together the side of 2001 and there must be a lot of optimism about the future if they can hold on to the youngsters they have here and most of them tied up on fairly lengthy contracts to make sure that if I actually do lose them and the big clubs are always watching here that uh, they're going to go for a pretty penny Lennon tidying up in midfield Johan Mialbi with Mido and Maklas bearing down on him. Plays the ball away, straight to Van der Vaart. Yakubu, the central defender. That's a good challenge from Tom Boyd, well won. And guided on nonchalantly by Larsen to Peta. Again testing out Trabelsi, he's having his shirt pulled. Peta, he had the better of his opposite number. He lays it off to McNamara, into Larson. McNamara looking for the return, gets there before Trabelsi. And that's well played by Jackie McNamara, works it back to Peta. Early ball in, Chris Sutton looking for it, but it drifts away, Shibu lets it go. And that's, again, excellent build-up from Celtic. Peta with the cross and great work before that from Jackie McNamara. Yeah, Celtic are looking very comfortable now. Uh, wonderful again from Petter there. He's such a threat in the wide area. He's full of confidence. He's keen to let people come close to him. He'll take the ball close to people. Uh, he's eliminating and he, he really looks on form tonight. Petter on the ball again. He was taken off early on at Kilmarnock on Saturday. He's well and truly back to fitness. Larson trying to win back possession, free kick given against him and Ajax in a hurry and Mido on the wrong side of a gap into the danger area goes Mido good header from Johan Mialbi Mido again, it's Valharan and that's a very clever header, he stayed cool and composed he didn't just head that anywhere, he headed it straight out to Didier Agat that's a bit fortunate to have kept possession. He's lost it now, though. Celtic don't want to be casual in those sort of positions. Van der Vaart couldn't punish him. And Agat does better this time. The ball slipped under the boot of Lambert. Lapses in concentration. And it's taken out of the danger area by Tom Boyd. Leaves it to Chris Sutton. And Rick Larson. Switching it from right to left and bringing Bobby Petta into the game. Some tired legs out there. It's a tough shift. Celtic have put an awful lot into this. And you would imagine that Martin O'Neill will be thinking about freshening things up for Celtic before too much longer. Right now Celtic have slowed it down. Lennon and Lambert. Petta, every pass. Gets a round of applause from the supporters. Now Sutton. He has been absolutely immense for Celtic tonight for Sutton. That's McNamara spreading play wide for Didier Agat. And at the moment, Ajax are chasing shadows. Europe will be standing up and taking notice of Didier Agat, you feel, after this sort of performance from him. Yakubu clears. It's a well-controlled header from Arvaladze. Daniel Cruz, 
Ibrahimovic against Valharan, two giants. That's a heavyweight contest between those two. Yakubu to Hassanen, the two central defenders who've been sorely tested tonight. And they've been found wanting when Celtic applied the pressure. Christian Shifu having a look at what's on in the penalty box. Played beyond Ibrahimovic for Maklas. He made a good run across the box. Watched closely though by Valharan and the header off target. Yeah, that's Maklas at his best. He just sees the space, attacks the space, good delivery in, and he just gets too much on it there. Possibly better just getting a glancing header. But it showed you that they still have to be very concentrated Celtic. It's a wonderful result so far. And if they can stop by it scoring again, then it's a fabulous result to take back to Celtic Park. 26 second half minutes played. So we're heading fast towards the final furlong. Celtic 3-1 ahead. If you've just joined us, it's a scoreline that will possibly take you by surprise. But it's certainly been merited. Five-star performance this from Celtic so far. But as Eric says, Celtic don't want to be making any mistakes towards the tail end of the match which will put a blemish in uh, a showing which would uh, sit alongside some of the best in Europe Jos Valharan making a good run forward but trying to play a 1-2 with Henrik Larsson that didn't quite come off and now he's heading all the way back to his defensive berth and he's been covered by Chris Sutton who is <laughs> almost perpetual motion Threatening an attack and bolstering the defence at the moment as well. Yakubu has passed deflected and cleared by Valharan. Nobody there for Celtic, but it's out of any sort of threatening area. Now with Shivu. Avenues forward being cut off by Celtic for him. Forced into the square pass, and now has it back. Trying to pick up the pace, Arvaladze couldn't get that controlled. Sutton with a delicate layoff to Lambert, and Didier Agat is off and running. Having a look at what's on, fired in beyond Larson towards Sutton. Goal kick, but again, that was a lightning break. Didier Gert is unbelievable tonight, Rob. He's been up and down the whole time. It's 60, 70 yard runs that he's making at pace. He's still getting back into defend. Okay, he's been covered at times by the centre backs, but outstanding performance from him this evening. Shot at Avaladze, the Georgian. Very experienced player. And a Vart youngster alongside him. Now Yakubu. Travelsi it is in fact the right back and wins himself a free kick against Bobby Petter's challenge and like Agat on the right hand side Bobby Petter up and down the line on the left for Celtic as Ajax prepare to make another switch and it's Yakubu who comes off the defender and it's Andy van der Maida who comes on and he's a, a midfielder so clearly Quadrian's left with no other option at this stage than to gamble a little. It's a defensive player off, a more attacking player on. And this free kick to come. Van der Vaart. And again, it's played beyond the strikers. And that's a, an easy take for Rob Douglas. The news from Ibrox is not good. Uh, Michael Moles has been sent off. Rangers down to 10 men. 15 minutes into the second half. Still the scoreline is at 0-0. But... Uh, Fenerbahce now with a one-man advantage. Michael Moles red-carded. And Tom Boyd is holding his face. And needing a little bit of attention. Yeah, I think he's gesturing there, Rob, that uh, perhaps an elbow was used. And I think Tom Boyd's pretty clear in who it was. Didn't see it in the, the replay there, but uh, Tom Boyd very incensed at what's happened there. And he's obviously clear that somebody lifted an elbow to him or his head 
We're at the mercy of the Dutch television director here, so we can't really fully answer the question for you about what exactly happened there, but Tom Boyd clearly reckons he was elbowed in the face. And uh, one wonders if it will turn a little bit nasty from an Ajax viewpoint as the frustration boils over in these closing stages. With less than 15 minutes of regulation time left in the arena. And let me give you that scoreline again because it sounds so good from a Scottish viewpoint. Act 1, Celtic 3, Keta, Agat and Sutton, the goal scorers. Shivu to Van der Vaart. Ibrahimovic. Didier Agat charged into the challenge. Shivu was able to get beyond them, and it's a good run from the Romanian. And that's a good block from Boyd. Played up for Larson. And a free kick is given. He said to put up with a fair bit of physical stuff tonight, Larson, but he's well able to cope with that. Martin O'Neill wanting to negotiate these crucial closing stages. He'd certainly settle for this scoreline to take back to Glasgow in two weeks' time. He wants Celtic to maintain full concentration, but he wouldn't complain if they knocked in another goal. And the way Celtic have performed here tonight, he wouldn't rule that one out. Van der Vaart. For Miklas, Valharan judged that very well. Johan Mialbi, Neil Lennon, chested down to Didier Agat. Great movement off the ball from Celtic. Whenever the ball is played, you can guarantee that a couple of others are running off the ball to, to try and get it back and keep the moves going at it. Absolutely, that's a team that are playing with confidence. They look a really professional outfit now, Celtic. Whether it be from the composure in the mid-park area with Lennon and Lambert the real threat up front and the real physical presence of both Larson and Sutton and defensively they've been rock solid the two wider players for me have been real stars tonight they've worked tirelessly both defensively and defensively and it's a really top level all round performance and the man who's trying to get the ball back there Chris Sutton he's been immense as well for Celtic but it's, uh, it's one of those nights where it's really difficult to pick out individuals probably wrong to pick out individuals because this has been all about a super slick team performance from Celtic Lots of graft and lots of skill as well to go with it. And real penetration uh, in the final third. As we've seen from the three goals and uh, Celtic had, had one or two breaks in front of goal. Might well have been five by now when you think they hit the crossbar. And Fred Grimm produced a, an unbelievable save to deny Sutton in the first half. Here come Ajax with Cruz. In the wide position, it's Van der Weide. Good ball in, and a good header from Johan Mialbi. Matt was waiting for it in behind him. Mido tries to play the ball in again. It's Bobby Petta at the far post, who just guides that one away from the substitute Van der Weide. And that throw-in wasn't taken correctly by the 21-year-old Ajax player. And... Antonio Lopez Nieto says that's now a Celtic throw. I won't endear them anymore to the home supporters. Sutton the target man. Won by Pasanen, but it breaks for Paul Lambert and Didier Agat is again in a threatening position. Agat against Shivu. Lambert and Larson forward in support. And that wasn't really what Didier Agat was wanting. He was fairly static when Lambert played the return ball and uh, that one fizzled out. Yeah, it certainly did, but it's unfortunate. Again, Lambert thinking that Agat was possibly going for the 1-2. Might have been better keeping possession, turning out, maybe having a shot himself or at least trying to keep possession, but Celtic now totally in control. Henrik Larsson. Indecisive play from Ajax, mistakes being made, concentration being lost and Daniel Cruz guilty of a trip on Sutton here as he ran away from him with the ball and a clear free kick and some of the Ajax heads beginning to hang a bit low at the moment you can understand why and Celtic will hope that they can cash in again in these closing stages and just heighten the torture a little bit for the home team McNamara's free kick driven in towards Larson, looking for the overhead kick. 
Yakubu was there to touch the ball away from him. I just wonder of when the last time a Scottish team scored three away goals in Europe. So it's a fantastic feat to come away from home against a top quality opposition such as um, Ajax and to score three away goals. I have my fingers in the record books, of course I would immediately tell you, but uh, that's what for afterwards, I think we'll have to find out when that was the case, but against quality opposition this is a tremendous scoreline for Celtic. Under Vart trying to find some room, he's struggled so far. Mido, Balharan there first. Peta's header is dangerous, Sutton was there. Ibrahimovic, not quite sure what he was going to do there, and he flipped it high and wide. Celtic don't want to lose a, another goal between now and full time because there's a big difference isn't there psychologically even between 3-1 and 3-2 yeah definitely it's a lot of tired legs out there now Celtic have worked tireless tonight every area they've covered they've tried to press the ball they've done that first class really wonderfully pressing the ball in the right areas and they've been a real threat up front so it's uh, let's hope they can continue this and not lose another goal if they concede one now it would certainly give Ajax a lift and we certainly tarnish what's been a fabulous performance. Just eight and a half minutes of the 90 remaining. There'll be a little bit of stoppage time, but not a lot. And the prize is a big one for Celtic if they can maintain the hold they have on the game. If they can hold it right here, they're 90 minutes away from the Champions League with a two-goal advantage. Sounds good, sounds impressive. And maybe if Didier Agat gets his skates on again, it might be more than a two-goal advantage. But Celtic will be fairly unconcerned at this stage about another goal. What is really important is keeping things tight at the back and not allowing Ajax back into the tie. They look closed out of it at the moment, but Celtic want to keep things as they are. They slowed it right down, keeping the ball. Ajax can come and get it. That's the message. Good play again from Agat. Lambert. Good ball in, good delivery. Away by Yakubu, only as far as Peta. His cross ball. Sutton! Good header! Saved by Grimm. He had a little look there, Chris Sutton, and he tried to loop that one over the top of the keeper, and he's disappointed he didn't make it four. Another wonderful delivery from Bobby Peta. There's only going to be one winner in the centre. Softens the header just slightly, tries to direct to the back post and that's a good save from Grimm to touch over for a corner. He saw the goalkeeper a couple of yards off his line there and you could see exactly what Chris Sutton was trying to do and Grimm was a relieved man that he could get back to tip that one over the top. End of the match for Henrik Larsson and a first taste of European action with Celtic for John Hartson. He came on as a sub early on for Bobby Petter at Kilmarnock on Saturday and now Champions League qualifier for him the last few minutes and here comes the corner kick Jackie McNamara with it if I thought it was physical before Rob they'll certainly know that it will be now yeah Sutton and Hartson coming at them for the remaining minutes six and a half minutes left of the 90 Didier got another surging run that was played in for Valharan and a desperate measures in the Ajax defence to force that one away so not just Larson, who's now gone for them, and Sutton and Hartson and Agat and Petter to contend with in an attacking sense. That was Jos Valharan up, adding his considerable bulk to the latest Celtic attack. And Ajax looking disjointed and dispirited at the moment. And Celtic have hurt them badly tonight. Their confidence has been eroded as the match has gone on and Celtic are running the show and they haven't got an awful lot longer to go to complete what would be a fabulous result Van der Maida, the substitute having a little shove at Bobby Petter on the way past and uh, Bobby Petter snapping at the heels of Van der Vaart in the midfield to try to win it back for Celtic and even after 80 odd minutes of action Petter still sprinting about the field but with his socks pulled down he is clearly feeling the pace Van der Vaart on his left foot and that maybe just sums it up for Ajax tonight there was no great pressure on him he was able to line up the shot from 25 yards out 
It went off the outside of his boot and nowhere near the goal of Rob Douglas. No, all credit to Celtic and certainly their back three. They're really defended exceptionally well tonight. They've not allowed Maclas to make those runs in behind. They've been prepared to step up. They've threatened the ball and really only the opportunities Ajax have had uh, have been from distance, obviously, apart from the goal. Celtic about to make a, another switch and it will be Steve Guppy coming on for his first taste of any sort of action with Celtic since signing from Leicester and I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was Bobby Petter who goes off and it's a straight swap left midfielder for left midfielder and Guppy agitated on the touchline and he's desperate to get on Neil Lennon Petter, this might be his last involvement and he lets the ball drift off under Maida for a Celtic throw. Celtic will now make the switch. And as expected, Petter off. An outstanding showing from Petter tonight. The Celtic fans greet him as does Martin O'Neill and John Robertson. And he scored the all important opening goal after just seven minutes of this match. And Steve Guppy on for some serious business with Celtic for the first time. And he has his first touch. Passane to Shivu. His socks down as well. And a definite tiredness about the Ajax players. And it's it's a lot easier to run about the pitch at this stage of the match when you're 3-1 ahead than it is when you're 3-1 down. Well, there's no doubt about that, Rob. It's very, very difficult now for Ajax. As we said before, there's no real direction. There's no real leadership now. The tie's over, I would imagine, at this point. And Celtic have really performed wonderfully. And maybe crucial for Ajax has been the absence of their skipper, the Czech Thomas Galasek, who plays as a holding role in midfield to protect the defence. He's not been there tonight because of injury. Uh, he's the skipper, he's the leader. And without him, as you say, they've been pretty much directionless. And players like Aaron Winter, the experienced Dutchman, he's been sold. The Sparta Rotterdam, he's out of here. And uh, Richard Witschke, another Dutch international, another experienced player. He, after saying some naughty words about uh, Co Adrians, is playing for the reserves now, Ajax 2 and uh, they're the sort of players that uh, might have helped Ajax along tonight because uh, the balance is very much swinging towards youth and burgeoning talent maybe but lacking maybe in a, a bit of street wisdom and that's where they've lost out tonight uh, and they've been played off the park by Celtic Under Maida, his cross charged down by the combination of Guppy and McNamara and we have just two minutes of the regulation time left and a little bit of stoppage to be added to that so Celtic looking to keep their eyes fixed firmly on the ball they've done so well so far but they don't want to spoil it so near to the end that's John Hartson he's inherited Ayel Berkovic's number 10 shirt those two have been linked quite closely in the past. Little trading ground dust up. And the shirt's gone from one to the other in the close season. And Hartson keen to prove that he can track it yet again in the big time. It's another big money move for him. One of many clubs. And he's still just in his mid-twenties. He's done a good job there on closing down Trabelsi as he went forward. Now Daniel Cruz. Wide for Mido. Again, it's a situation where he wants the ball ahead of him, not behind him. And that's a tired looking cross into the box. Yeah, it's all gone now for Ajax. There's no way back for them, Rob. There's nobody that's capable of giving them direction at this point. They look tired, they've worked hard. They've had to try and take the game to Celtic, especially in the second half. And they really haven't found any solutions. And it's becoming a, a very tired Ajax side that we see in front of us. Inside the last minute of the 90, just about 30 seconds to go. And we're still waiting to see how much time will be added on. You wouldn't imagine it's too much. And Celtic, who've piled so much into this action tonight, will accept the final whistle any time. Under Vart for Ajax, chipped over the top. There's a useful ball for Avaladze. Good header from Mialbi to cut it out. And a free kick given against the home team which has Nikos Maklas hanging his head in despair and well despair all around the pitch 
inside those red and white shirts as we see that's two minutes will be added on two minutes remaining because we've played now 45 we've played 90 in total for Sutton with a little nudge on Yakubu and well is this maybe his best performance in a Celtic shirt tonight it can't be far short well, I don't know if it's his best, Rob, certainly, but tonight he's been outstanding, both offensively and defensively. He's been a real threat from set pieces, from corners into the box, a real presence in there, but he's worked tirelessly. He's slipped into midfield at times to cover, and even for the back three at times he's been there in the left-back area, working tirelessly for the Celtic cause, and it's a, a very, very good performance from here Chris Sutton. Yeah, here he is again on the ball. He's never hiding Sutton always available always wants it even at times like this when he is absolutely exhausted Travelsi can't get through him it's played down the line by Steve Guppy for John Hartson against Pisanen the defender took a deflection off Yakubu it took two of them to get that away from the Welsh international striker now van der Vaart whistles all around the ground looking for full time Nikos Matlas and Firing a shot straight at Rob Douglas and then having a go at Jos Valharan. A little altercation between the Greek striker and the Belgian defender. And you can see in moments like these where the frustration of an evening spills over. He's not happy. No, I think he's just trying to say, Rob, that he lent into the defender. I didn't think there was a problem there. I think he did very well to hold off Valharan and get the shot on target. So obviously frustrated there and not particularly good referee full time in the Amsterdam arena and absolutely brilliant for Celtic those are the only words to describe it a superb performance the Ajax heads are hung low in disappointment and it's the Celtic supporters who are making an awful lot of noise they're applauded there by John Hartson and the trip to Holland has been well worthwhile Paul Lambert adds his round of applause as well for the backing that Celtic have had and uh, the Ajax defence with uh, Petri Pesanin at the heart of it pulled apart by Celtic tonight it has been a five-star team performance three one winners some grim goalkeeping early on from the Ajax number one helped Celtic out Bobby Petter and Didier Agat scored, Arvaladze pulled one back but uh, by the time John Hartson was on the pitch it was 3-1 Celtic when Chris Sutton scored with that crushing header an unbelievably strong performance and Celtic's waiting in Europe will have shot skywards tonight well, no doubt about that, it was a wonderful, wonderful result but not only that, it was a wonderful performance a real top quality European performance as you can see the, the Celtic supporters delighted and so they should be They've come a long way, but uh, it's been well worth the wait. Celtic haven't been obviously that dominant in Europe recently, but tonight we'll certainly take them forward into that stage. And it's uh, it's a very, very happy Celtic team that will leave Amsterdam tonight. You hesitate to say that Celtic are in the Champions League, but they've taken a giant stride towards it tonight in Amsterdam. They'll surely take a lot of catching in two weeks' time at Celtic Park after a momentous showing here. And that final scoreline of Ajax 1, Celtic 3. Martin, unbelievable performance. That's got to be one of the great Scottish performances in Europe. I'm glad you said that, Chick. I thought the boys were immense from start to finish. We could have scored six goals. We didn't do. You know, they're absolutely immense today in Ajax, and I don't care what they, they, they deserve all the credit in the world. They were magnificent. This, is this your finest moment? So you well, that's, oh, well, no, because we haven't done anything. We haven't actually done it. We've not gone through yet at all, but the lads, the lads were immense tonight, and they, they were so powerful and so, so precise, but their football was sensational. Well done. I know one of the heroes beside you. Thanks, Bob. Absolutely. Paul Lambert, Paul, you've been a, a hero of many European great nights with Bruce, but that's uh, got to be up there. Fantastic. It just shows you what can achieve with hard work. I said to you yesterday, hard work will get you through the games and this is one of the best results I've had also. When you went ahead, did you, did you always feel comfortable after that? Of course. I said yesterday we've got a great work to win. And uh, no, absolutely fantastic. A great feeling, not, not a failure in the team. Bobby Petter there, Bobby. What a performance I just said to Paul, incredible.
uh, it's, I think we uh, we deserve to win today. We played uh, really good, and uh, three uh, three one. I think is a good result. You're feeling very relaxed. There's a little bit of sweat on you there. Yeah, there's a wee bit of sweat because it's quite warm here. You know? Yeah, you must have enjoyed it particularly to come back to Holland and produce a, a performance like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, you know what I mean, um, all performance, but I'm glad just with a total team performance. And I think as a team we played very well today. Yeah, a wonderful performance right through the team. Henry Last, I think we can get a word with him. Well right. done, lads. Happy. Henry, you've been involved in some great starting performances. That's got to be up there with them all. Yeah, no, we played very well today. Uh, I just hope that uh, when they come to uh, to Glasgow, we can uh, finish it off. Because it's, although we got a great result today, it's not finished yet. Yeah, perhaps Ajax not the greatest, but you you can't take anything away from what your team produced. Not a, not a failure in the Celtic team. No, we're we're a solid team performance today. I think uh, we played well all through the team, and uh, that's what you need when you go away from home and play this uh, big game. Did you expect it to be such a comfortable victory? Uh, no, not really. But I, I believed in our team, and uh, I think we all we all starting to believe a little bit more what we can do. Thanks, Henry. Well Thank done. you.